Guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch our videos. And today we're gonna to take a look at a part of the golf club that we haven't reviewed before. We're gonna take a look at some golf grips. So we've looked at heads, we've looked at shafts, and now we're gonna take a little review on golf grips. But before we do, if you like our videos, please hit that subscribe button and tell all your golfing friends. So golf grips, everyone needs one. We change them regularly, or you should. But what's the difference? Well, there's different sizes, there's different feels. Today, we're gonna to have a little look at the multi-compound range from Golf Pride. So in my hand here, I've got a selection of the sizes, colors, and styles that Golf Pride offer. So if I start with where Golf Pride came from this grip. So they firstly started with the standard MCC grip, the standard multi-compound grip. So this was a grip they've got a basic rubber grip at the bottom and a nice cord in the top hand. So for those golfers that want a bit more grip in the top hand, this is an absolute winner. Has been a winner for years, popular on tour. You'll see Rory uses the black and white ones. A very, very, very popular grip. It comes in three sizes. So it comes in your standard, your midsize, and your jumbo. And this is kind of it. A few different colors, red, blue, white, black, you name it, they've got the colors. And this is a decent grip. But what they did a few years ago is they added the plus four. Now they noticed that on tour, a lot of players were asking for more tape to be added under the lower hand. So what they did is they, they created a grip where the taper in the grip is actually less reduced. So if you like the fact that you, both hands have a similar feel, then the plus four version is the one for you. On top of that, they then added the team's collection. So you'll see grips like this and this and this, all in different variations. So you've got the MCC standard and you've got the MCC plus four. Is there a benefit to both? Well, for me, it's about feel it's about personal preference there's many a uh, measurement that you can take quite often you will see a player sort of grab it and as a guideline you want that middle finger touching the palm of your hand not digging in and not having a massive gap that'll kind of give you an indication as to the correct size however what i would say is please make sure that when you're being fitted or you're changing your grips make sure that you actually put way more effort into your personal preference in the field. I'll give you an example. If I was to use some of the charts and the guidelines where you can measure from the base of the wrist all the way up to the longest finger, and then the longest finger itself, if you were to use that chart for me, I would need to use a jumbo grip. Well, okay, I can go and do that. I can put some jumbo grips and I can pick um, a a multi-compound, I can pick a plus four, I can pick what I like, but the essence is the size at that point is completely wrong for me. It always has been, hate it, can't stand it, don't like the feel of it, don't feel like I've got control of the club face, and so on and so forth. So for me, I've always played with a standard sized grip with one extra layer of tape. That's all I've done. So look, if you're gonna go and get your grips changed, please make sure that you spend the time to not just go through and pick on color, although that makes the clubs quite trendy, but you also spend the time to actually feel it, touch it, hopefully in the places that you're gonna go and get your golf grips changed or your custom fitting, they may even have a huge selection on shafts where you can actually, we do this here, we can plug a head onto an old demo shaft so you can actually have a swing with that grip in your hand and even clip a few balls if you really want to. It just gives you an understanding of what size and what style might feel best for you. Guys, I hope that was useful. MCC, multi-compound grip, one of the most popular grips around. Golf Pride, one of the biggest manufacturers of grips and are definitely a great partner of ours. If you want to get your golf clubs re-gripped, make sure you do it. For me, it's once every year. I know grips are expensive, but by putting a fresh set of grips on, you can really change the way a set of golf clubs can feel. And if you like our videos, please hit that subscribe button and tell all your golfing friends. <laughs>